Last but not least, let me also mention that you can easily migrate to the new syntax from the old one simply by running this automated migration made available by the Angular CLI. So just run this command here in your project and most of your code is going to be transparently converted to the new syntax. This works for at4 and any other new syntax that Angular has introduced together with at4. Everything is going to be migrated in one go. Usually for most projects, the migration should be seamless. Depending on your code, you might still have to migrate parts of your templates manually, but in either case, this automated migration should take care of at least 95% of the work. And so with this, we have finished the comparison between ng4 and at4. I hope that it's clear now that the new syntax is much better, so I encourage you to use it. Go ahead and run the automated migration and let me know how it worked. Let's now continue our course and talk about the next control flow syntax that we're going to cover, the at if syntax.